Hi, hey, and to all those other greetings to adventurers, I'm Jake Spins, welcoming you guys back to a loading screen, where today we're going to watch Bubbles Fizzle, and it's going to be fun, and look at that blank screen, oh, it's so fun loading, yay! But, um, no, in all seriousness, though, welcome back to the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, or the Flying Dutchman's Loading Screen, in Spongebob's, you know, Spongebob Prehydrated. Okay, I believe this button is also to call the ship to go back. So, nothing to worry about. Um, in the previous episode, we started this area and actually got five different spatulas. I know, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very stoked about it, but only one sock. Sorry, that was a, that was a pity clap. <laughs> That joke was quick with Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, hey? Eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is on, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. I mean, I, I guess I could see how that would help, but like. Is that the defenses? Because wasn't wouldn't turning off the generator just basically turn off the power to the ship? A little confused on that. But um, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Dutchman's ship actually looks very much like how it does in the show. How did I miss that jump? How <laughs> did I miss that jump? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, it took me longer to die in this episode. I know we had more cutscene in the loading screen, but it took me more time to die in this one than it did the other one. Oh my god. Okay. Again, I, I know I said this like two episodes ago, but Nintendo saying Joy-Con Drift hasn't affected anybody? Mmm, yeah. I know that's an out of context thing. I shouldn't be bashing them for it, but like, come on, Nintendo. I almost just died because of this. Well, SpongeBob almost died. That would be a great clickbait uh, title, though. I almost died because of Joy-Con Drift. For real. <laughs> be such a ridiculous thing. What happens if we tried to launch this before? Oh. Oh, so it, does, it doesn't fire it. It counts it. So we have to prep all of them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, well that's that's good to know. Also, now I don't have to make that jump because I don't need the underwear. Okay, yep, I thought those looked like they were breakaways. Oh, this is mean. Oh, this is mean. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're good. We can now play as Sandy. I feel like it would probably be good to play as Sandy. I feel like, I, even though I just switched to Sandy and I said it would be good to play as Sandy, I have this feeling that it's going to be like, yep, SpongeBob. Yep, something that I didn't notice that needed Spongebob. Do I actually need to just kick the... No? No, that's not, that's not how it works. Do I just have to... Oh. Well, okay, that, that, that makes this easier. Just have to, just have to bonk it. Oh, God. Put your hams away. Put your stamped hams away. I don't want to hear your memes. Put those memes back in your pocket, sir. I should say on the phone that's in your pocket. Dude, that's just for health. Can I just can I just mention this? It's not for a secret. They're just like, you know what? Wait, we'll put some health there. I find it interesting that they didn't divvy this up either. Ah, okay, wrong button. But that that definitely did hurt me though. Okay, this is not it's not a want. We What? What? Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. We can do this. I'm like, wait a minute. You're telling me. You're telling me that we have to bubble ball to be able to use Sandy. I don't understand. Oh, I, I see where it is. I, I have a feeling this is not how we're supposed to do it, but it's how we're doing it. Oh, robot cannons are destroyed. Yay. Yay! We can celebrate! 
okay, well, that's that's great, but that still doesn't fix the, the other problem <laughs> of, uh, you know, being being sandy. Do I actually have to? There's There's no way. There is no way that's what they're asking, right? It can't be that. That'd be... There's no way that's demanded of you. Oh, okay. So you can hit it up. Okay, I, I see. I see now. It's one of those things where you can hit it up, you just you don't need to. Also with... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, with this swing, you should actually be able to just make it. Which, I, I feel like that isn't the intended way. <laughs> oh, you gotta admit, that feels great, though. Aw, oh, dude, that feels so good that Texas Momentum can do that. And now I can just come up here and check this out. Dude, what's gonna... Aw, oh, dude, early sock, yes! Yes, dude, I can just I can just drop in and get it. Yes! Thank God. Thank God for that part of it though. Uh you okay, dude? You look like you need some help. I'm glad I I'm glad I could help as well. Now I wish I could just uh, you know, get over there without having to worry about Well, I could I could actually probably just make this right right no i saw the b prompt and uh that that was a no that must have been for the enemy okay well on the bright side we did get the second cannon we also didn't necessarily lose any momentum or progress so that's good i still want to even though i know it's not time based which, thank God, because it felt like it was. And I was like, oh my God, I just made it. Um, again, thankfully, it's not. But, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you were actually supposed to switch over to Sandy. Wow, I did, I did this completely wrong. Holy crap, dude. Okay, and then we need to make it over to this one. Which... Which I landed on the switch instead of getting it. That sounds about right. Um, honestly, I kind of would rather use Texas Momentum again. Oh god, I wish you could just swing on to the same one. And that was a no, but we still got over here and we're going to get that cannon. Dude, I have a feeling, though, that second sock is in this area, though. Let's have this hunch. It's going to be in that chest. No, I have to get up here. A SpongeBob? Wait, what was that? What was that camera angle? Wait, how did I even get that camera angle? Oh, that's actually... Dude, that's such a sweet picture. Yo, dude, spins thumbnail potential right there. Okay, so that's going to take... Oh! I will accept this. Yes, oh yes, I will definitely accept this. I'll also take the shiny. And think about it. Even though that's definitely not the way to get up here, there, there, is, a, there is a bus token. Yeah, dude, I completely botched this entire area. But, like, because of momentum changes, you can just straight up do that. Oh, dude, that's two spatulas right there. Dude, boom shakalaka. Here we go. Is this episode seriously going to just be like 10 minutes? I mean, we still got other stuff to do and one spatula. But like, dang, dude. And now we get the Dutchman's ship back. With four cannons as SpongeBob sleeps on the button. For eternity.
I mean, the fight's honestly really not that worth it. Like, or like, not, okay, that's not what I meant to say. But like, Sandy, Sandy's saying like, oh, hey, we ha we did all that work for you. And I mean, technically, yes. But we really didn't do much of anything. You know? But here we are fighting the Flying Dutchman, which is actually one of the coolest things. You help him, and then he becomes your worst enemy. He's also, uh, I believe, the only boss that isn't a robot. Which, I mean, it makes sense, but it would have been kind of neat to see what they would have done for a robot Flying Dutchman. Also, I guess burning a pair of underwear to, uh, to get one hit on him is, is pretty good, you know. I mean, I'm sure they, they respawn in segments. And uh, he's, he's going to very quickly trim his nostril hairs again with his flame snot. Or, or you know, use his Superman heat vision. I mean, if he had freeze breath, breath he'd basically just be dead Superman. So I guess I, guess I, can, I can understand why they would, uh, they would give him snot fire. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's weird. It's a very very strange decision that I'm I'm very much questioning. Because like why? Also, realistically, you'd think at like any time we'd just be able to uh, to just lasso his tail because it's it's actually just straight up there. But because it doesn't give the prompt, you know, that's mainly why. All right, I can't I can't remember. Yeah, I think it said part one. So I think this is like the rest of the bosses. So he'll definitely get trickier. All right, dead Superman. No, you're just you're just gonna do more. I love how he's like, well, I didn't get you in th this one position with my crazy laser eyes. So let me just teleport to a different area and then I'll try it again. Cause you know, this totally isn't the, def the definition of insanity or anything. No, no. Oh, that time you did it four times? Ooh, ooh, changing up, changing up the styles, Mr. Dutchman. Wait, was that it? <laughs> Wait, that was seriously it? Oh. Uh, okay, well, I definitely thought that was going to be a, a cooler boss fight. But, I mean, I guess at least we got to fight the Dutchman. But, yeah, that, um, that was actually a, a kind of a math fight. All right, well, that is almost everything in the Dutchman's Lair. I mean, the, fir the first area wasn't too bad. I mean, the first area was actually kind of meh. But once I realized, oh, I need to just use the cruise... Oh, excuse me. I need to just use the cruise bubbler. It wasn't too, too bad. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that boss fight definitely could have been way, way better and way way mm. i like i i like the humor but the fact that it said like oh hey part one i was like awesome there's gonna be tougher fights here but i, I guess it's kind of a mini boss but to, and to be fair this isn't really technically the last area in most cases but i just i kind of feel like it was equated to but it also makes it weird, though, because the uh, the last two of the last areas, this one, you have this really short mini boss, and then on um, on the other one, you have um, you have just a spatula that you do nothing for, you know. So it's it's a very weird way to end this final section, and it kind of makes me wonder a little if they started getting to a point where they were like, "Ah, eh, okay, we need to just end this." Oh, oh, I am sorry, I did not mean to find that was a thing, but um, either way though, 
there is still one issue. Patrick needs all of his socks. He could probably go without having every single one, but the good old man needs all of them. So I'm going to check to see where that last one is, and then I'll show you where it is. All right, so believe it or not, this uh, other sock, which is actually the second sock, is actually very well hidden. And someplace I probably never would have found it. So you know what? As as much as I was saying, like, they should hide it here. Yeah, no, they, they definitely had a way better spot. And that is actually literally right under here. Like, that that is so impressive. And something I never would have thought of in a million years. So, kudos to the developers because, like, seriously, I'm I'm clapping for you because that was actually very very smart. Um, but either way, though, that is going to end it for the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Here's the thing, though. I know that the last area we have is literally the Chum Bucket Lab, which is essentially the next area of the whole boss thing. But I don't want to end the episode yet because I think that it would actually be better to polish up the rest of these. Just for the fact that we have the whole entire... Um, I, th I just figure that, like, this was a shorter episode. We can just speed through the spatula gets. And then when we get to that final episode, it can just be that final episode. So... I'll meet you guys over by Patrick, and we'll get all those spatulas. Here we are, guys. Basically, in all sense of the word, we have 100 presented SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated. Except for, you know, getting, well, basically just collectible-wise. And now, it's time for the speed of getting all of these spatulas. Deep breath spins. Because you can't buy all of them at once, unfortunately. And that was the last Patrick spatula. I'm not going to lie, it kind of had the same feeling as um, going into the Mario Odyssey's Mushroom Kingdom and talking to Toadette. Except for the fact with Toadette, it just spammed all of the stars that you achieved straight up at you. Whereas this one, you had to keep going and talking to Patrick. And now, here comes something that we all know too well. <sighs> it's that Mr. Krabs really likes money, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all of these. I'm just hoping I won't have to grind that much. Oh, did we... Did we pay him? As... Or is that a bikini bottom one? <laughs> But either way, it's time for some of the spatulas. Oh, is that it? Oh, no, we just ran out. No, we didn't. Well, I don't know why the R prompts didn't show up then. All right, well, I don't think we have enough for the next one. Great. So this is where the grind comes in. So effectively, to be able to get these, I now have to go and grind up enough shinies. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Krabs. Um, while I'm, while I'm doing that, by the way, 
Um, I'm also going to really quickly check to see what that last, um, that last thing is inside of here. Because my only guess is, like, the, the theater. And I can't think of anything else. And I've heard that this one's a pain. May I help you? Great. Great. Yeah. Yeah, if that's the case, that, that's going to be... It's going to be a pain. <clears throat> okay, guys. I will be back so that I can get the rest of the dispatchless, which is literally just grinding. I may have gotten myself stuck. <laughs> I went down here to do some grinding and uh, yeah, I got myself, I found out that, um, so weird thing, if you end up getting the dragging animation here, it brings you back here. Yeah. And if you hit it in the right spot, then it will just respond, respawn you to where you're constantly dragging and uh, I don't even know how I how I got it but like it got the camera stuck and then it's doing this and uh, I just thought I just thought it was like a really weird thing and apparently if you jump right away then you get out of it but I felt that it was it was of note to to mention just just an interesting thing you know Oh, and weird hand thing. Wow, it did it before I even hit the <laughs> The game just knows. It's like, you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna help you out, dude. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make sure. Alright guys, we are back, and uh, I got a little bit extra from what we needed, um, just so that I can, you know, have that for if I decide that I want to try to go for the theater, but also to make sure that um, if it's a decent number, which I mean it's going up by five, okay, it's a good thing I got extra, because uh, I, I thought it was going to be 7,000. But no, it's not. Um, on the bright side, though, that does mean I have all of the Mr. Krabs stupid spatulas, which, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think this is a bad idea. But considering how many different things that you have to paywall through... I feel like it should have been costumes 
or something that necessarily wasn't the main collectible. And that's just personally me. Because, like, the socks make sense. You know, you collect enough socks, you can eventually get the spatulas. I totally get that. That makes sense. But, like, the shinies, I, I know that there's supposed to be a reason. But, like, you all, if you didn't have the pay gate for certain things, and some of them were literally to get more shinies and had nothing to do with socks or spatulas. So it's, like, it's kind of cheap. I don't know. They could have they could have very easily put in a completely other area or like a bonus area and just gotten rid of these. Or if it was like less, I I don't know. I don't know. But it's how they did it. I can't I can't really argue nor do I really want to. But um I did look up the last spatula and it actually was the one that I th was thinking of. Which uh, we haven't gotten because we haven't gone into the chum bucket. Um, so there is no worries for anybody who's like, well, you you have more than just the final boss. Um, no, that last bikini bottom one is in fact inside the chum bucket. So no worries. So at this point, we have 100 percented pretty much all bikini bottom, getting all of the um, all the socks here, all of the spatulas. We've done Jellyfish Fields 100%. We've done Downtown 100%. We've done Goo Lagoon 100%. You know, done the bosses here and here. Done Sand Mountain 100%. Mermelayer 100%. Rock Bottom 100%. Kelp Forest 100%, which actually wasn't that bad. Um, Flight, uh, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard 100%. Again, not, not too bad either. And uh, SpongeBob's Dream, 100%. I do find it very interesting how they, like, weigh a lot of the socks in, like, the the beginning. But Jellyfish Fields was huge. And, I mean, the dream the dream area, like Sandy's Dream, that was pretty big. That was that was very big. Um, Flying Dutchman's was super small, though. Like, they, they could have put more stuff in it. But, like, I don't know. I don't know, it could have been a bit bigger, but that's what the original devs ended up having, and that's fine, because Kelp Forest was actually a fairly decently big area, and so was SpongeBob's Dreams. So, you know, have that, not too bad. And of course, we have Patrick's Socks all collected, and all of the shinies paid for. That being said... The theater has no completion on 100% stuff. I believe it's just concept art stuff. So it's something that even though, yes, you would be like, well, you're not technically 100%ing unless you're doing the theater. But I believe it's just concept stuff. It's not like we'd be missing out on extra gameplay. And it's like, it's like how I said for Odyssey. You know, not that I want to keep comparing this to Odyssey. Um, but for Odyssey, I said, you know... There's there's a point to reasonable 100%. And while it wouldn't be that unreasonable, and it wouldn't be hours of my time, it still would be a lot of time I'd have to go and just grind. And I don't feel like doing that. But anyway, though, guys, that's going to end it off for this episode. Meaning the next episode will be the finale of SpongeBob Battle for B Bikini Bottom. Rehydrated, a title I apparently still can't say. Um, but yeah, before we go off, um, I did, I did complete Flying Dutchman. And, uh, yeah, as I said, small, I wish the boss was a little bit longer. And, uh, I feel like that was definitely the last thing that they did. And they probably kind of ran out of some steam or time. Um, but that being said, this game is still a very amazing game for what it is. Um, but yeah. As I said, next time we'll be jumping in to the final boss of this game. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, share that with everyone known love. Brother, mother, sister, father, iguana. And I will see you guys in the next one. Keep it safe. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. You can subscribe if you really liked it. You can also hit the bell to make sure that you don't miss any videos by me. 
And uh, on the screen right now, there's my first channel subscription, second channel, as well as some videos to check out. All right, guys, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you later.